Hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner playthrough. I'm Teacher Kirby and today we're going to play through A Fistful of Gorn. This is another Nimbus mission. Okay, so we're going to accept A Fistful of Gorn. It says, when you first beamed down here, I wasn't so sure about you. But after what you did to Hassan, yeah, you have some skills. So some Riemann escaped with the triggers tough break. I bet he's out of the sector by now. But if there's one man on this rock who'd know where to go next, it's Law. He can help you bring an end to all of this. Then we can all celebrate with some drinks at the bar. Track down the Tal Shiar base on Nimbus 3. And for this we'll get a number of experience points, expertise, personnel reward, Law, and career specific mark 11 kit reward and some dilithium okay so i'm on it if you need it i've got it all right the first thing we do find law for more information so we go to hail law and you'll remember law is this way oh almost forgot we're by the bar this is my second day on Nimbus. May as well come in very quickly and unlock the dance competition. There we go. Remember to pin your emotes for this. This is not part of the mission, but you know, you can unlock the fan dance this way. So, and it's quite an easy little side quest go on to the dance floor and it will fly in with the dances just dance nothing special let's mix now do the robot now do the snake now it's going to be different every time so your dances may not match what I done there we go so as you see two minutes and if even that and we are done okay there we go and that's halfway done claiming the fan dance all right and here we go to law You find a note written by law to Scotty Cam Sirhan. The Gorn that serve Hassan have taken notice of you. With Hassan out of the picture, they're making a note or move to show their strength. They're sending a man to kill you, but I decided to take him myself. I need to do this. I've lived the life of a coward, not the life of a Romulan. The Gorn will most likely kill me but at least I will die taking the stand that I ran away from two years ago. I hope that you're the person you seem to be. If you are, you'll continue to help the people here after I'm gone. Law. Check on Law. Doo. I always want the uh, the theme from the old western movies with the gunfights and I just keep hearing that in my head every time I see this just staring each other down and <gasps> who died who won who didn't and I love it law comes back and shrugs yeah, I won. <laughs> okay. Now this is embarrassing. I leave a death note behind and you can find and you find me alive. Guess the situation is isn't as bleak as I thought it was. You've got that look about you though. One that says that you need information. What can I do for you? So we explain the situation with the Tal Shiar. If they're anywhere on Nimbus, they're probably using the satellite stations to the south. 
Hassan used them to stay in contact with the Orion Syndicate without the risk of anyone intercepting his transmissions. I think that's how he coordinated his last attack. The Tal Shiar could probably do the same thing. But that area is the territory of a pack of Gorn Separatists, and they don't like anyone who's not a lizard. That will make it harder, but not impossible. Your best bet is to go to the canyon, disable the exterior satellite cables, gather the satellite codes from the Gorn, and then hack the main satellite. That will cut the Tal Shiar on Nimbus off from their support. The canyon entrance has a giant rock arch over it. There are a couple paths down from the upper rim to the bottom. In the meantime, I'm going to take stock of what I have here for some plans of my own. Go to the canyon and take control of the satellite station. So very well. And here we go. Okay. If the Tal Shiar are there, we may find Akiv and all those missing people at the same time. Ooh, some foreshadowing. All right, here we go. And up. And remember, I like to take shortcuts. Okay, and this time we're going this way. There's the arch in front of us, you see. So we are running, we're running, we're running. Nimbus is much easier done if you have snow boots, which this character does not have because it is an agent of yesterday, and it was just made. We have not gone to the have not been able to unlock the winter event as of yet. The Gorn set up a relay station system to protect their network. We'll have to disable the three consoles on the way down to have a chance. Blah blah blah. Alright, so we're going this way. There's one console. And we need to disable it. And the next console is over this way. There's the next console. And keep following along this way and we'll run into the, there's the third console, you see it there. going to follow along the path. And we've disabled our three console. And now we need to access the satellite override the Gorn console. We have done that. Ah. So now we go this way, and there's another console here. This is the one we need to override. And we go to disable. Admiral, the Gordon systems have additional protection from an encrypted lockout code. I could try to bypass it, but we run the risk of sending the system into high alert. We might need to try the direct approach. If we manually sever some of the cables, that will give us time to work on the bypass without setting off the systems alert. To give us a better chance of success, we would need to recover security codes from the Gorn in the canyon. So we sever the computer cables and collect security codes. So the security codes are going to drop and look like loot. So make sure as you go that you collect any loot that comes up for we need five we sever the cable in five spots and we collect ten 
codes from the Gorn. So make sure as you walk along, make sure you follow. There it is. I don't know why I don't see the bloom. Make sure you follow the cables so that you can see where to sever them. It will pop up. So there's one place. There's another. Again, I'm not sure why. Usually it shows a bloom. I'm not sure why it does. But make sure you walk along the cables to see where to sever them. Okay. And I will, of course, be reporting that there is no bloom for the cable severing. That's four. Let's see, how many is this? That's four out of five. So we will be moving on to the last severing of the cable. Should be, yeah, right there. And surprisingly, we haven't come up across any gore. There's some. Okay, so that was a side quest. Those heavy rangers can be a bit of a pain. These are what I want, Gorn in the canyon. You see they're dropping loot. We want to collect that. These will most likely be our codes. There we go. We got one satellite code and two satellite codes. We need to keep collecting. And now we have three satellite codes. We need four. We need six more. Oh, we're halfway there. We now have five satellite codes, six, and let's keep going. Ah, a whole plethora of loot. Seven satellite codes, and eight, nine, and ten satellite codes. We have the codes. We can stop a key from escaping once we override the main satellite. Alright, so we have severed our cables, we have collected our codes, we can now continue on through the canyon without too much bother or worry. There we go, and doo doo doo. Alright, follow the canyon. And here we go, to the little station, there we go. And we're going inside. And as you can see, we have the satellite to hack. You've managed to access the main data for the satellite control. You can take control of the frequency through, through here once you break the security lockout. It would appear the code is set up so that the numbers are double the value of the number above them. Okay, so that would mean if this is a 10, we have to half that and that 
that's a 5. 5, 10, so that would be 20 for our third number. There we go. And override. Access granted. Communication subroutine suspended. Security overrides accepted. Perimeter access granted. Displaying uplink location. Akiv's base has been located. All right. So we now know where Akiv's base is. I think they'll lead us to the control. So we follow the cables out of the canyon. There we go, this way. And as you can see, there's the cables. Follow them out. Obviously we can't go that way, but we have the arch here. So we're going to go across this way. Ooh, there's a shiny console. Okay. We're going to disable the Gorn satellite. There we go. Now obviously we can't go straight up, but we can come around this way. And we know we need to go up so we can come around here. And we regain the cables again and follow them. Okay, we're going to ignore the worms. If we stay on this side of the cables, we're pretty much, they're not going to bother us too much. They may attack, but we're just going to run right through and not worry about them at all. We don't need to kill them. All we need to do is escape them. And we are heading right here to this door. And that is, we hail law. Admiral, can you hear me? You survived the Gorn and found Hakeem's base. I'm well and truly impressed. I've been thinking about something. There isn't anything left for me here on Nimbus. With your permission, I'd like to join your crew and help you stop Akiv once and for all. Okay, so we receive the following reward. We get Law as a duty officer. And there we go. Alright. So, let's unlock Law. I want to double check. Discreet. Didn't see anything about a temporal probe. Let me double check. Okay, so the next probe is inside the installation. That's not surprising. And let's see where we're supposed to look for it. Investigate temporal probe in installation 18. <laughs> That's very helpful, cryptic. Not. Okay. So we have a stun grenade. We have a Mark 11 kit. I'm really not too impressed with that. So I'm going to leave it. And there is Law. So I'm going to unlock him as a duty officer. And there we go. Alright. Ready. So this has been a Teacher's Kirby playthrough of fistful of Gorn. We will now be moving on to installation 18 when you see us next. See you there.